Demonstration. Good morning, everyone. My name is Salam al-Din. I've been helping in Greece for over four years now, on Lesbos Island and all over the Greece. Um, I came to Greece because of a picture of Alan Kurdi. I saw it on the 3rd September, and on the 5th, I was all, already on Lesbos Island. And what I saw that time, there was no help at all. There was no UN, there was no Coast Guard, there was no police, there was no Red Cross, there was no one. I saw women give bananas, and another woman gives water. They were tourists. I saw people drown in front of me. That week changed my life. And uh, I started an organization called Team Humanity, and I said, you know what, this is my call. What I witnessed is that there was no at all a strategy for the authorities on the island. They start attacking the volunteers, the organizations. Um, Camp Moria, it's the hell on earth. There is around over 19,000 people today in Camp Moria. The conditions are worse than ever. There is space for 3,000 refugees, 3,000. And today we have over 19,000 people who live in tents, winter and summer. These are summer tents. The food is insane. Every day people are sick. Every day you have people who have diarrhea, fever because of the food. And the Moria camp was built as a high security detention center for the worst criminals in Greece. And now you have refugees. Toilets, showers, food. Everything you have to stay in line for hours. If you have to go to UN with a question, you have to stay there for two hours, three hours. You have to go to European Asylum Service, Yaso, you have to stay for three, four hours. Food, you need to stay in line three times at three hours daily. That means nine hours of your time you use just to get a small portion of food. Women are afraid. Women are sleeping with diapers in the night. They have fear of rape. I had a woman who got raped in the camp came to me and asked me for help. I said, why didn't you go to the police? She said, they don't help us. I went with her to the big police station and they took the notes and they took her to the hospital and they arrested the guy. Within 12 hours, this person was back in the camp. How can anyone report these crimes to the authorities when they're being back in the camp. Everybody's afraid. Camp Moria. I see that even pets and animals in Europe live with more compassion than the families I know in Moria camp. It's not only Syrians that are running away. You have Iraqis, but you have also Afghan people. Afghan people have been through 40 years of war, over 40 years of war, and nobody cares. We're seeing them being deported from Europe back to Afghanistan, but we just saw news in Afghanistan what's going on there. Especially for women, it's not a safe country at all. The authorities on the island are corrupt. I've seen it with my own eyes. I was a rescue. I was working in the sea back in 2015. And yes, I have been having dead children in my hands. I've been burying children with my own hands. I've been digging a grave for six hours and burying four children and a mother and father because no one did it. They threw them in an isobox like they were animals, 70 bodies, like there were just some bags of The authorities are corrupt because I've seen what they've done there. I've seen the pushbacks in the sea with my own eyes. 
once in the night, I saw how they hit people where they were in the water and tried to come up, they hit them with their feet and told them stay there. I seen them how they pun puncturing the boat, taking the engines from the boat, breaking the engines, taking the gasolines. Sometimes they puncture the boats, sometimes they let them. And why all that? Because the water is gonna take them back to Turkey. It always goes west, back to Turkey. And sometimes, if there is no waves, they just sail in front of the boat to make waves so they're getting back. Why do you think in 2015-16, there were so many dead bodies on the shores of Turkey? It's because they're killing in the, in the middle of the sea and the bodies is going back. This is what it is. We've seen attacks at the borders. We've seen refugees being attacked at the borders. I have several people who told me that they were in Greece, they were walking. They've been in Greece over 20 kilometers inside. And they got arrested. Put in a container, a cargo container with other people over a night. They've been taking in the morning in military trucks to the border, putting in a small rib boat and bring them back to Turkey. This is the illegal pushbacks. Not even sending them back. They are stealing their money. We had cases where 14 people got stolen over 18,000 of euro. Their mobile phones, their clothes, everything, and put it in the boat and send back. This is business. And this is authorities at Evros River in Greece. The volunteers and NGOs are being attacked daily. I've been an attacked. They don't want us to help them. We are the witnesses. We are the ones who's coming here and in the European Parliament and talk about the situation. We are the ones who are telling the truth and they don't want us to be the witnesses. They want to do their crimes. If they take me out from the seas, I don't help them, or the refugees, then they can do everything they want. They can kill people. Nobody will know and, or understand anything. I remember in 2015, I was waiting for a boat. They were 200 meters away. It was a wood boat. It was on the way. We were waving and it's coming. We see a military ship coming. The military ship sailed directly towards the boat. They hit the wood boat, it broke down, it sank. Six children died, small children. Why? Why did they do that? They were already at the coast. They said, sorry, it was an accident. Nobody got punished for that. Nobody got investigated for that. The things are happening in Europe. Greece is a member of the European Union. All this is happening in our Europe and nobody get investigated for this or punished. The refugees who got asylum, who's getting asylum in Greece, they are running right now because they got kicked out from the camps, from the hotels, from the accommodations they had. Without money, without anything, they just threw them out and said, now you take care of yourself. How? The Greeks doesn't even have a work. The Greek people don't even have a job. How will the refugees get a job? That's why everybody is running away. Greece can't handle the crisis and never could. All the money that came to Greece, where are they? We have an example, Moria camp. If all that money that got donated to Greece to help refugees, then we will not have children sleeping in summer tents in Moria camp. They will have ice boxes, they will have proper food, clothes, and a safe place to be. The refugees didn't come for food or clothes. They didn't come for that. 
They came to save their children. They came to save their families. They want peace. They want to live in a safe place. They don't want our food or our clothes or our water or anything. They say, please just, we want a safe place to be. Especially the Afghan people. They haven't had a safe place to be for over 40 years. The situation in Greece is horrible right now. I'm getting calls every single day. People are begging me to help them, and we can't. They can help. We're not talking about only children. We're talking about families. Families who have small children, a mother who has four children, sleeping in a tent and are afraid because she don't have a husband. She's afraid, she don't know what to do. You have 19,000 people. Of course, you don't have everybody good there. It's a country running. It's countries running away from, from war and from disaster. You have bad people and you have good people. But they are very good in judging. If one person makes a mistake, that means all Afghan people are doing something bad. All, all Syrians are doing something bad. And that's not true. There are some good families, such a warm people, such good people there. I've seen them all. I've seen the people in Moria camp. They need our help. They really need our help. 300 people is gonna be getting to Germany. That's shameful. We have space. I was in, in the Temple of Airport walking and I saw these all ice boxes there. You know, it was like, I don't know, 500 ice boxes. Been there for years without using them. They could have brought 4,000, 5,000 people, women and children. You have the space, and this is only Berlin, and this is only one place. I think there is more places like that. I really hope not only Germany, but other countries will start thinking how to help these refugees, because they are suffering, and they're suffering right now. I know that people are running right now and they are in the jungles, in the mountains of Albania, Macedonia, Serbia. They are running for their lives. Because Greece are just taking them. You have papers, you don't have papers. They put you in jail and then they deport you. Doesn't matter if you have a paper that says you have asylum. Doesn't matter. We have several cases, they had papers and they just took them, put them in a boat and send them back. They don't care. And why? Because nobody is investigating anything and just let them do their crimes. We need to act and we need to wake up in Europe. Thank you.